Hello everyone, I'm PJ Golf Professional Lewis Wallace and this week we are at the stunning Heritage Resort stay as the host of the Afraser Bank Mauritius Open and we're here filming a series of videos with some of the best players in the world to help you improve your game. All right, guys, I'm so happy to be with Marcel Sim, Heritage Golf Resorts Ambassador and European Tour player. Marcel, thank you so much for being here with us. Pleasure. A Fraser Bank Mauritius Open week. We are Wednesday. This is the day before the first round. Now, talking bunker play, we really want to help people that are watching this video improve their bunker play. How do you set up in the bunker? We've got a ball about, let's say, 20 yards away here. And so we're on the practice range, but we're still going to imagine that we're on the green side bunker, right? So how do we get the ball up and stopping as quick as possible when it gets onto the green? And first of all, I think it's very important that uh, we show some confidence in the bunker. You know, yes. it's, it's something where, where uh, it's actually quite easy golf shot. Once, you, once you've done it and you gain some confidence, it's a very easy shot. So for me, the most important thing is, um, you know, we open the club face. If you, if you go like this, it's very, very difficult to hit a shot like this um, to, to that ball. So we open the club face um, quite quite a lot. So this is, this is going to be facing towards the target we want to go. Um, so wait, can I just... Yeah. So you're saying you open the club face, but this is an important aspect because a lot of amateur golfers open the club face, but then it gets it pointing to the right. Yes, So exactly. you said you open the club face, yeah. but you make sure that before you hit it, the club face is pointing towards, towards the target. Towards the target, exactly. So that's, that's the next thing. As, as, as soon as we open the face a lot, we have to lower our hands so, so the leading edge is going to go uh, go left because if if you go if you open the face and you have you have yes. hands quite up then then we definitely aim too far right right so um, that's that's how I that's how I move into the bunker I mean I always gonna I think in my opinion I my face always gonna be a little right yes. because we're gonna we're gonna swing it left yes on us, so the face and impact will go towards the target okay um, my feet are gonna be not too open because then you swing it then you just whip too it too much left. on the out to in and then then we hit the ball on the toe. We lose, and then we lose a lot of um, power. I think if we want to pitch the ball right here, then then you can wipe it, uh, swipe it left, and, and just hit it on the toe, and the ball goes up and, and very soft. But for that distance, I don't think we have to have the stands that that open. So I would say, um, you know, I'm aiming like five yards left with my feet, and um, you know, have the, the face nicely open, hands low. Um, so the next thing in bunker play for me is very important that we don't in the backswing we don't dip. No, we have to retain the shoulder height. Mm -hmm. It's very important. You have to be stable. Otherwise, you know, you duff it, you thin it, and a few key points there. Yeah. Stability. I love what you said. Yeah. Creating stability, the exactly. lower part of the body, making sure that, that you have a good solid base, and you're swinging more with the upper body, the hands. And I like to say something about. I'll ask you a question about the divot because this is something that amateur golfers struggle with, right? Yeah. So I take a lot of sand, not a lot of sand. What's your point of view on this? I mean, it all depends on the on the quality of sand. Um, if it's wet, if it's firm, if, if it's soft. So you have to adjust to that a little bit. But um, you know, it's always the same. You, you know, you, you don't want to, you don't want to get too early. You don't want to get too late. So you really have to to be confident um, with the open face, just to just to swipe it underneath yes. the ball. So I would say we got we're gonna hit it here, and then um, don't go here because the yeah, ball is not going to go uh, anywhere. Yeah. So I think that's that's what I say with the confidence. Yes, you have to you have to gain confidence in practicing, and um, you know the, the the nice thing is about that that um, open club face is because, like I said, we, we retain that that, that shoulder the height. Shoulder. You know, very important. Yeah, we go up. We have a little bit of of rotation in the hip. I mean, yeah, there's always a, there's always the a little bit of rotation. Exactly. Whatever happens, we don't want to create restriction in the lower body. But exactly. we want to create some resistance, right? Exactly. We want so that lower body to be stable. We have, we have, to, we have, we have to use the big muscles a little bit. And yeah. when we come down, you know, it's it's more a movement like this. We, yes. we, 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 we let we let the um, the happiness of the club head, right? You know, overtake the hands. Yeah. Yeah, and use the loft so the ball goes up in the air. I definitely want to get into that, but just before you said something really interesting about lowering their hands. So when we talk about divots, right? The the, the you know, if you take a lot of divot or not a lot of divot or a lot of sand, per se, if we're in the bunker, mm -hmm. lowering the hands is going to help that club face get underneath the ball and just slide yeah. and glide exactly. under, right? It's going to get, get a little more shallow. That's right. This is too steep and then, right. and then we hit the toe, it hits the sand and That's then right. the ball goes 
anywhere. You so know? lowering the hands helps you get a finner divot, which in return is going to help you create more spin as well. So if we yeah. if we get with that open cup face and get those hands up, we're going to create too much of a exactly. too much of a big divot going into the sand, and we yeah. don't want that, right? We no. want to create you know fin divot just underneath the ball. So we lower hands. Something really important because a lot of amateurs don't do this. They yeah. like you know they stand in front and they stand like a normal golf shot. So just that little tip there of lowering the hands. And do you also, when you lower the hands, do you lower the center of gravity as well? Do you like, do you, you squat a bit more? You have okay. to. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, the arms are too, too stretched. You That's always right. want to have a little bit of an angle. Okay. And, and so you go a little lower then. I mean, you, the Sebi Basteos, he was the That's best. Right. I mean, when you saw yes. him, he was, he was kind so of low. You could hit so it with a free iron. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, okay, great. So we talked about the setup, which is, you know, fundamental. We all know that we, I mean, we didn't talk about this, but build position towards the left side. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's a given. We open yep. the club face, okay, but we make sure that it's set up towards the target. Okay, we've got this lowering of the hands, which I love, we're creating resistance with the lower body. Exactly. And now you're talking about how you get that impact and you just let the, the sort of the club head kind of go past the hands, yeah, right? we need it's very almost... soft hands. That's the right. key thing. I mean, you, it's a feel shot. If you, if you have a uh, very, very, um, stiff wrists in the, in the bunker. I mean, there's there's nothing nothing happening. You see, the, the club face can can do this, and yes. uh, if the hands are forward in the bunker, you're out. You yeah. know, that's that's a no go. So soften your hands, lower the hands, lower your stance, and then just really. All right, yeah. Marcel, do you want to give us one? You hit right. a shot for us. Okay. So we've got about 15, 20 yards here. So he's, Marcel's club face is so open here. It's it's really really crazy. It's really interesting to see how open. Nice. Oh wow! Oh, you almost Take hit that. it there. That's beautiful. It's crazy how open that club face is. It's like the grooves of the club face are aligned towards the left toe almost when, yeah. you, when you set it up. It's so open. It's very open. So um, I think other players don't open it as much, but yeah. I have a lot of underarm rotation in my whole right. swing. Right. And and I know when um, it's so open, I, I have enough you know to get it to square it up and impact again. Right. Right. Um, you know, there's there's one thing for me in, in bunker. In the bunk again, very important. I always imagine I'm in a bath, you know, I have a bathtub. Right. Where, where the ball is in the bathtub and okay. um, I'm standing outside literally. Okay. So, and the club face has to, has to be in the bathtub all the time, you wow. know? Wow, so that's then really interesting. I go this way, hit the ball, and I don't want to swipe it left because then I damage the bathtub. That's right. You know, if I, if I come from the inside, I hit the you bathtub on the right. Well. So it's really, yeah, it's almost feeling like it's very neutral. Exactly, so, so you go in the bathtub, and this is how you lift the ball up in the air. I love this movie. If you could just do that again for this camera angle, just do no, sorry, just go to the face. I just want to show that angle again. It's almost like when Marcel gets the impact stop there, the hands stop like in front of the belt buckle and then the, and then he just lets the club head release this way. Exactly. Staying in the bathtub, right? I mean, this yeah. is such a great image. I love this position here. When you see so, it's square, yeah. you know, it's still square to yes. target. Yeah. If and another thing as well way. is that it's, it's staying open, you know, it's almost pointing towards you, right, yeah. as, you, as you're doing this, right? It's almost pointing this way, and a lot of time, you know, it's, it's going to be this way, a lot of, you know... This, you don't so want many, that. <laughs> no, you don't want that to happen. Uh, Marcel, there's a lot of great information that we shared here. Maybe just pick one or two, because you don't want to over overcomplicate things as well, but, I mean, there's some gold nuggets that you just gave us. So, I mean, you gave us four or five really good keys there that we elaborated on. So next time you're on, the, you know, you're practicing this shot. Make sure that you try these. It might be just one that's going to work for you. It might be just the hands. It might be just lowering the hands at a dress. It might be the resistance of the lower body. But I guarantee you, if you can put these keys, in, you know, when you're playing, wow, this is really going to improve your bunker playing. I mean, Marcel. How many times do you see amateurs actually practicing in the bunker? I mean, not Never. often, right? <laughs> <laughs> not often. So if you want to get better in the bunker, you've got to practice at it. And confidence comes with quality practice, right? Exactly. Because oftentimes people don't like going in the bunkers because they don't like it. Why? They're not confident. They don't know how to. And when you know how to work this thing in the bunker, yeah. your confidence shoots up the roof, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, that's a shot. I mean, that's, it's literally, it's going to help you for your rough game as well, you know, around the greens for lob shots. Yeah. I mean, this is exactly the same movement. Yeah. Um, and I think it's fun when, once you once you get a little bit of spin on the golf ball. Yes. This is, this makes you better play. You confident gains. It's so much fun to see the ball reacting on the green. With I the love best it. Play. I actually love practicing. It's the best, yeah. Because I mean, yeah. when you see it stop on the green, man, yeah. that's, that's such a cool sensation. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in the next video where this time Marcel is going to show you how to hit that 150 yard shot with a long iron out of the bunker. See you next time. So if you like this video, don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up and also why not share this video with your friends. You can find Heritage Resorts on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. And to book your next stay, go and visit the website heritageresorts.mu. See you soon.